Look at how intricate this is. Everybody gets lucky sometimes. All right. Open up this one, too. We're going to open up both. I've spent 3900 on this locker, but it filled up two of my trucks. Two? There is no way I'm not going to make a profit. Oh, my goodness. Look at how beautiful. Peacock probably should get about 500 bucks for it. Here, hold this for a second. Wow, look at how intricate this is. 150 for this one, 500 for that one. <gasps> oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. Even if it's a remake, it's at least $200. These are all like English hunting scenes, easily $300. Look at that. That's pretty. That's nice. $30, $20. Ooh, that one's nice too. 30 bucks. Flower pots, 125 bucks. Here's a $60 bill for you, put it down there. Oh, nice little decorations, $100. This one is even nicer, all this stuff is hand painted. $200 on this one. They keep on getting more and more beautiful. Look at this piece, this is cool. This is at least $1,500 for the pair. Oh my god. Oh, oh wow. This looks really old if it's made to be old. This is cool too, this is Japanese. We got like all this cool Asian stuff. That's a $3,000 box. I'm pretty sure this is not Japanese. This is some kind of African thing. I could get a thousand for this. Wow. Ooh, okay. these are nice. Yeah. Signed. Because these are original oil on canvas. Hey, there's a receipt with this. It says it's worth eight grand. What? Are you serious? Well, that's what it says right here. That's so exciting. Hurry up, open some more. This should be a Japanese screen. Six panel, that's good. That's oh, extra money. Oh, look at that. <gasps> We're gonna put 1,500 bucks on this thing. You know what the best part is? Hesto was laughing at me so bad. He stopped somewhere in the 2000. He was just laughing like, I just bought the worst unit ever. Open her up. Oh, it's beautiful. We'll get at least 1,500 bucks for it. We need boxes. We need boxes, boxes, boxes. We need some lights set up. We got to work the night through. Buddha! It feels like museum quality. We could get $2,000 for this right here. This is an old cabinet for pipes. This is easy $500. Oh my god. It's like a medieval puppet. I've seen this sell before for 2000 This is just mind blowing. There's still another 50, 60 boxes in there. This could be the best unit of my life. So we are not resting until we get through each and every item. Oh, wow, look at this piece. That box is at least 200 bucks. That's an easy $400 patio set. All these suits are designer. That's a $2,000 box. This piece right here, 450 bucks. Barbecue, 150 bucks. Two nice fire pit sets, it's another 100. <gasps> what? Baroque by Wallace. That's sterling. So this teapot right here is probably at least seven, eight hundred bucks. Yeah. Right here is like two thousand dollars easily in collectible silver. These are the units why we're in the business. This is like you chase it your whole career to yes? find units like this. <gasps> this stack right here is six hundred dollars. I'll guarantee you I'll get fifteen hundred dollars for this pair. Wow. That's the plate where the tea set goes on. It's seven, eight hundred dollars just for the plate. Waterford. <gasps> This being Waterford, this is probably gonna be around $1,000. Waterford, candle brass, I guarantee you we're gonna get $2,000 for the set. After this locker, I might just write my own book, The Art of Kicking Hester's Ass. <laughs> I mean, look at all this stuff. We're like sitting in a pile of cash right now. Unbelievable. By the time we price everything and do our research, I'm telling you right now, we're gonna make $50,000 on this locker. I mean, I have never ever found so much good stuff in one locker. Oh, I'm proud of you. Group hug. Supposed to be the lucky one of the day, right? Well, let's find out. Well, Brando, here it is. This right here. This oh, is not. I didn't even see that. This is not African. This is Indian. Yeah. This is called a hunga shaka. Hunda shaka. Hunda shaka. I think you're wrong a little bit. <laughs> Called a dusty Hyundai Shaka. So what's but it worth? About 250 bucks, bro. I'm gonna call it a $250 spear. Ah, look at this wrought iron base. Move yeah, this out. And I see the glass to it. That's another 300 bucks right there. Wow. This is called East Lake. This piece right here, 600 bucks for that. The coolest old door. I get 1,500 bucks for that by itself. Yeah. This set right here is worth about 250 if there's four chairs with it. There's eight. Holy magnolia. This thing's pretty exquisite. I think I'll get about 800 bucks for it. Good locker, good locker, good locker. Oh, this is so bitchin'. This thing is butt old. Dude, what kind of wood do you think it is? 
It's a uh, it's that uh, wood from a tree is what it is. Look at the screws and stuff in here. Yeah, I know. I can get fifteen hundred bucks for that. These are all old cane back chairs. Uh, so there's four of these chairs, Brando. Nice. Eight hundred bucks. There's a whole set of these two, and they're really really old, but I think they're more like a a Queen Anne or something. Now that one there is completely different. Dude, that one, oh, watch the top. You almost took the whole top off of that. This thing's incredible. Probably 1870s. Really? Yeah. It looks like somebody was gonna strip them down and restore them. Someone had just redone all this upholstery and everything. These things could be worth a couple thousand dollars a chair, Brandon. What? Oh yeah. Let's go get that looked at. These chairs are fit for a king. I would know. You know what I want to say to Renee? How do you like me now? Oh, stop it, Dale. You're just picking on me because I'm bigger than you and I'm smarter. With an antique chair? Are you kidding me? Brando, a circus clown and I, we're taking our chairs to Thrive Decor to see Randy Asada. Hey! Randy? How are you? Yes, What's good. happening, Welcome. man? I'm Daryl. Nice to meet my you. Son, Brando. Nice to nice meet you. Too. Randy, these are the chairs that we talked to you about on the phone. And... They're very impressive right off the bat. They're Gothic style, but these would be Gothic Revival chairs. And Gothic Revival was popular in America from 1830 to around 1860. And I love that you have some of the original coloring here. Are these in the middle of being restored or something? Because this looks like a linen backing or something. Yeah, this looks like you found these right in the middle of being restored. You can tell because all of this canvas upholstery would not have been original. You see a staple gun put all of these staples in, so that's recent. The thing that I really love about these chairs is you could put this look next to a very modern table and it works. So that makes it cross collectible. So people who are mixing modern and antique would love to have these chairs. An antique collector would love to have these chairs. The more people are interested, the more the value goes up. So they were worth bringing up to you then? Oh, absolutely. I think you'll be happy to hear that. I would not be surprised to see the right buyer pay in the neighborhood of $7,000. Seven grand? Seven thousand. Pay yes. the Daryl. Right. All right. What do you want me to do? I want to hand it. You, you, the whole thing? Are you grab half? Oh, I'm good. And I'll all right, all right. Come on. Come on. Jump down. Come on. Well, here, get down. I I'm gonna. Here, rest it on this. As soon as you tell me, I got you got it. it. I kind of got it. Down. Pick up right, your side. You I'll pick up my side. We'll walk it out. Let's hold it high. Yeah. All right. Wait a minute. This top opens up, right? Okay, pick it up. All right, but don't let it, hang on. Whoa, what? this is more than 40 yeah. pounds. You bull <laughs> me. <laughs> I don't have any idea what this thing is. You found a, a big wooden box, a crank. We know there's a crank on it. It's a wine chest or something? No. Doesn't that look like a Way cool, what? brother. <laughs> I'll tell you what this is. What is that? It's a phonograph. It's wood, it's vintage, it's very cool. And uh, hopefully the records Huh. I've hit again. What? How World's greatest music, check it out. Wait a minute. We got music. Yeah. Hang on. <laughs> this is amazing. We might make some money on this, this unit. Is amazing. Yeah. Look at that, amazing. after all. Thanks, Barry. Now get out of my stuff. This is awesome. Good luck, you guys. I'm very excited. This is a really great find. We might have to have somebody take a look at this because there's just no other way to know. And if it's not worth some money, I'm keeping it. It would look awesome in our house. I'm very excited right now. Way to go, dingus. Hey, you know, everybody gets lucky sometimes. Every dog has his day. See, that's the real 1920s, right? That's good. I mean, this is brilliant. Sounds good. OK. I guess the uh, major point for you is, uh, uh, what's it worth? Yeah. So you're going to sell it? I'm going to sell everything. That's okay. what I do. That if I collected everything, I would be broke. <laughs> then you might get 400 bucks. I paid $300 for the unit. That's $100 with the additional items I had in there. I had another couple hundred dollars worth of stuff. So I'm looking at 600 bucks on a $300 unit. That's pretty good for me. And we're happy yeah, to keep it great. until we make like the right it. amount. That's, that's a good yeah, amount. exactly. Yeah. It looks like this thing might be worth 400 bucks. I'm just hoping Brandy doesn't want to keep it. I mean, it doesn't do me any good to hang on to things. I got to move them. I got to get them out of the store. I got to get them sold, and I got to get the money. Sorry, Jared. I'm keeping the phonograph.
I'm back at one of my favorite antique shops. Hey, Derry. Good to see you, honey. Always see you again, fun. Honey. Ah! And Karan is going to give my silver charms a thorough examination. Well, I got good stuff today. Show me. These little trinkets come out of Grandma's sewing machine. Tell me what the hell they are. These are called vinaigrettes. Why are they called that? It's because you would do a mixture of vinegar and lavender and put the sponge inside, and this would hold it down, and it would permeate. And whenever you needed to avoid a bad smell, you could hold it open, and you could smell it. So I think what you're telling me is this is like Victorian deodorant. I'm going to have a better look, OK? Let's see what kind of magic we can find in these. You know what my favorite smell is? Money. It says that it's gold. Uh, it even tells a time period. This really? piece right here is 1800s. Love that. Let's yeah. talk about this one. This is a depiction of a British flag. There's a cartouche that is empty, and a cartouche is an availability for an initial. So this could be regifted. So this one is the early 1800s, Barry. And you have such beautiful markings, and you have gold on the inside. Your cartouche is empty. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> and this one, I just thought was a little stash. I mean, I almost left it behind. This one is called a palmander. This was soft. And what you would have up here is you would have smelling salts. Let me smell it. I'll be the judge of that. It's here, not, it's not in it. It's pretty. <laughs> this one girls carried in their pockets, or their purses, or in their brassieres. And this one, Barry? is from the 1700s. Wow, that old. I don't hold too many items from the 1700s. This is really a treasure. Talk about Old Spice. I need to know what these vinaigrettes are worth. Well, you've told me they're gold. You just told me they're old. How much? If I were to put it in my shop, yeah. I would mark it between 450 and 500 bucks. That little thing. This being in the early 1800s and marked so flavorful with so many markings, I would put this one at 750, 800. Really? This one here, being the early 1700s, is between 900 and 1,000. Tell you what, you just changed my financial state of mind. You hold my booty, let's go to dinner. All right. That's the best news I've had all day. Well, I can't wait to look at this one. High risk, high reward units. That's real brass or bronze porthole. And they already modified it. They put a little class in there. I'll get at least $400 in my store for that. Little garage workbench, 40 bucks in the store. The whole reason I bought these units is for the boxes. <coughs> Oops. That didn't sound good. All right. Ten bucks, not exciting. Raggedy Ann dolls. Oh, these are actually good. 15, 30, 45, 60, 70. That's really cool. I'll probably get at least 30 bucks, so that's 100. Look at this, it's beautiful. I'll get 50 bucks for that at my store. I thought this was carved wood. Oh my god. This is a wrought iron or heavy metal. I know people love this metal wrought iron, but it's cast iron stuff. I have no idea what it is. I'm going to have to come up with a good story. But I guarantee you, I'll get 100 bucks. This looks interesting. What the hell is that? Wow. You know what? I have no idea what this is. But it's in a display case, which I like. That looks like an old Indian blanket, all hand stitched with the knots on top. You know, they started two, three hundred dollars for one for nothing. I hope it at least covers the unit. I still have a lot of money to make back. Oh, it says Hummel. Feels like Hummel. Score, baby. Roughly 25 figures in here. I'm going to be very conservative, and I'll say uh, 50 bucks a piece. Oh, this is good. Tools. It's all craftsman tours. It's all American tools. 300 bucks. Started out rough, but the deeper I get, the better it feels. <laughs> Woo! Ah. Ah. <sighs> this thing is heavy as hell, but heavy is good. And the best part, original mount. It looks old. When I was carrying it, it sounded good. Bell's are extremely hard to get because back then I used to make them for firehouses, schoolhouses, ships, 
or some sort of government building. Other than that, nobody had bells at the house. I guarantee you that's $500. Plus, I still got more boxes to go through. I still got the Indian Planky to get checked out. I hate to ring my own bell, but this has been a great unit. Superwoman, I can do anything in heels. How about some laundry? <laughs> We're seeing John, a curator at Primary Source Gallery, to have him check out my tapestry. Just let's get in here. OK, great. Haha, uh -huh, I made that last night. What do you think? Yeah, I don't think you made that. This is a weaving, and it's called a pua, P-U-A, and it's from the island of Borneo. This is from a tribe of people which were headhunters, and they were called the Iban tribe. And these are all protective ancestors that they believe help them to ward away evil and malevolence. This is about fertility also. You can see there's a lot of fertility going on right here. The Borneo males would have something called a palang. And a palang was a device that you put into your penis. It went actually through the penis. It was supposed to bring greater pleasure to the female. Don't get any ideas, Casey. W what is it worth? Well, this piece is, was made probably in the 1950s or 1960s. Uh -oh. And for collectors, it should be a very dark red burgundy. And you can see that's not the case here. I think we're looking here at about $1,500. You know what, that's cool. I mean, I was hoping it was worth, worth more, but I never had a headhunter piece before, so now I'm kind of <laughs> like. Because they believe by taking somebody's head, you get their life force. Did they eat them? Only in a symbolic way. I know you like to eat, but don't be getting any ideas. Well, as long as I do it symbolically. Yeah! Hear me? Yeah! I may not have a lot of friends, but I got a lot of money. King of the world!